How are we doing ladies and gents? Gorgeous George back from match day vlog. As you can tell, I'm not at the John Smith Stadium for the Huddersfield Chelsea game. I'm at my pub, my local pub, uh, but just because it wasn't feasible for me to get back to London from the, after the game because the game's kicking off at eight and I wouldn't get back till London until about three o'clock in the morning. It just wasn't feasible for me, for, for me to go. I've seen the lineup. Bakayoko's starting, but Cahill, Cesc Fabregas, Morata are all out from the team that played against West Ham and Saba Costa as well. So. He's made a few rotations, he's, he's changed, made four changes and it's a bit weird not back to why he's starting. If Murat is out, our second class striker should be starting and obviously Conte doesn't fancy him but he's gone with Woody and Pedro and Hazard up front. Whether that works or not, but we have to get the win here. We have to bounce back after West Ham, a game that we should have won as well. But obviously we lost 1-0, but we've got to take the game to Huddersfield and really bounce back from this and try get these three points in this game. So I'm going to head inside, I'm freezing. But yeah, I'm going to go head inside, watch the game and uh, yeah, hopefully Chelsea can get through this one and get the three points and we should really against Huddersfield. But I'm going to rip Chelsea 2, Huddersfield 1. Come on you Blues! Yes! Bakayoko. Keeper slipped as he went to clear it to the short goal kick and Bakayoko scored. That give him a lot of confidence going hopefully into the rest of this game. Good you. 2 0. William. Switch ball out to Alonso. He's put it in. Williams header. Get in. 2 0. After Robbie Savage saying that we've got no height to win headers in the box, Williams scores the header. 2 0. Get in. So it's half time at the John Smith Stadium and we're winning 2 0. Bakayoko and William with the goals. It's a debate whether it was an own goal for the first goal, but I want to give it to Bakayoko because he's lacking confidence and hopefully that can fill him with a bit of confidence going into the rest of the season. Like just because he's been getting a lot of stick rate lately and I've always supported Bakayoko because I'm, I'm, he's, he's young and it's for his first season in the in the league, but we're looking good anyway. Huddersfield is sitting back and, and allowing us to have a time on the ball and we're hitting loads of diagonals out to Victor Moses and Alonso and we're causing him problems with uh, the intricate play between Hazard, William and Pedro. So we're looking a lot better than we were against West Ham and we've got into 2-0 at half time. So hopefully we can keep this going and get a couple more goals in the second half. But I'm just hoping that Bakayoko has a good second half and not not slip off a little bit. Whether Kone brings him off and just to give him a bit of confidence, well, I don't know. So we're, I'm going to see what happens in the second half. But yeah, hopefully we can keep this going and try to get another couple of goals and just bounce back after that West Ham loss. But yeah, 2-0 in at its half-time. Back of Yoko and winning with the goals. A good start. So let's keep this going and I'll see you in the second half. Come on, you Blues. 3-0. Pedro, what a goal. Crossing from Alonso, fell to Bidian. Poor clearance from Huddersfield, but Pedro smashed it into the top corner. 3-0, comfortable now comfortable we could beat these we could beat these five six nil now we just got to push on now hopefully we can keep a clean sheet uh, Pedro just added to the score sheet get in what a bit of play there and Golo into Hazard into Pedro back into Hazard out to Moses got a shot away blocked got a corner great bit of play though great little one touch stuff Whew, almost a fourth from Hazard. Keeper managed to deflect out for a corner. Two good chances for Huddersfield there. First Tom Ince tried to chip out over Courtois, great save. And then a long shot from, I think it was their centre half and just didn't get down in time. But two good chances from Huddersfield there. But, whoa, they're on the break. Whew, lucky that was a poor pass. But we cannot go to sleep now. Come on, Chelsea. It's just like I took the foot off the gas a little bit, but we can't can't see the goal because they'll be back straight back in this game. It's about a half hour left of this game, so we just gotta keep our foot on the gas a little bit. Oh. Pedro skied it. Batch is about to come on though. Probably for Eden because he's just been walking at the moment. But Moses put it into Hazard, laid it back to William. And then Pedro skied it over. Could have been four. Go on, Bakayoko. Great ball. Yes. Oh. oh! 
Bakai can put on the pressure. Defender slipped. Great outside the foot pass by Bakayoko into Hazard. Little flick. Pedro bend it wide. Oh, should have been four. Should have been. Hazard's coming off for Batshuayi. That's good. We're 3 0 up. Give him a bit of a rest. Hazard's coming off. Batshuayi's coming on. I hope he gets a goal because he really should have started this game. Because he's our second choice striker. If your first choice is not start or available, your second choice is to be starting. So, hoping Batshuayi gets a goal. Substitution for Chelsea. Dane Drinkwater's coming on for Ngolo Kante. Again, rested him for, for Southampton probably. We're 3 0 up. Give him a bit of a rest. But yeah, Ngolo's off. Dane Drinkwater on. Substitution. Christian's off. Good rest. Ampadu's coming on. Ampadu almost scored their own goal. That was close. Good save. Clean sheet's gone. Nice. Dele Potra, I think how it pronounced his name. Crossing from the left. Scored a goal with his head. Good header to be fair. Beat Thibaut. Who let him go? Rudy. Good finish. No way Thibaut was going to save that. 3-1. Oh, I was hope that we could keep a clean sheet and there goes the full-time whistle. So it finished 3-1 Chelsea. We bounced back after West Ham. The performance was a lot better and that's exactly what I wanted from Chelsea. We, we controlled the game from the first whistle to the last. Obviously, Huddersfield got their goal just before the full-time whistle which is a bit unfortunate, but we did make changes. We put Ampadu at the back. He's only 17, so he can learn from that and it'd be a learning experience for him. But let's talk about the performances from the players who started. Hazard had a really good game, but towards, before he came off, he was he was walking a little bit. I don't know if he was trying to reserve his energy because he has played a lot of games for us and it was right for Kone to bring him off because we've got to rest him and look after him because he, he's our most vital player. And, William and Pedro had really good games and yeah, Pedro could have had a hat-trick. William scored a goal from ahead after Savage and said that we won't be able to win aerial threats but William got a goal from his head. And Timmy Bakayoko, he scored a goal after being slated by some Chelsea fans. I've always been a, always been supportive of him because it's his first season, he's 22, he's got to learn, learn the culture, learn the new league and just improve from now. So hopefully that'll give him a bit of confidence. I don't know if they're going to take it off him and give it as an own goal. But I'm hoping that they keep it as Timmy Bakayoko's goal because hopefully it just fills him with confidence. But I was gutted to miss the game because it was a really good performance from us and we bounced back after West Ham. But yeah, we got Southampton on Saturday at Stamford Bridge at 3 o'clock. I'm going to be there for this one. It was just unfortunate that Huddersfield, it was the travel and that it just wasn't possible for me to back at a reasonable hour. So, do you know what? Good performance. We controlled the game and... That's the performances that I want to see from now on. So whether, and a couple of players are knocking on the door now. William and Pedro had really good games. Morat hasn't been scoring of late, so whether we rest him against Southampton again. But yeah, it finished Chelsea 3, Huddersfield 1, and it was a good performance overall. And we're now level on points with United. They've got to play Bournemouth. So you can see me. They've got to play Bournemouth tomorrow, so hopefully Bournemouth could take a couple of points off him or even beat him at, at Old Trafford. I think it's going to be difficult for him, but... If City slip now, are we back in a title race? I don't know. That gives us a bit of a chance. But it's going to be tough now to get to get back in the title race. I think it's we've got to wait for City to slip and hopefully capitalise on that. But yeah, a convincing win. We controlled the game and we got the and we got the three points. So we go on to the next game. We've got Southampton. I'm going to be there. We we're playing at Stamford Bridge at three o'clock. So I'm definitely going to be there. So make sure you watch out for my vlog. I'm going to do a review of the game tomorrow, so that should be out on my channel. I will also do a preview for the Southampton game, so make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the like, leave some comments down below, and I'll see you all next time.